it to be either reaffirmed as the mayor of Toronto or rejected as the mayor of Toronto. And I do think that the citizens of the city of Toronto want to weigh in on that question. Mm -hmm. And what do you, how would you weigh in in terms of whether you want to see a by-election or not, depending on what happens with this appeal? In terms of a by-election, I think it really is a function of when the decision comes down. If it comes down in the fall of 2013, unlikely, then I think most of us would say, well, for that short period of time, we probably should go with an appointment. However, if the decision comes down in January, which seems to be more likely, then I think the pressure will be on, given that it's two full years of being in office, uh, that we should have an election. I, I would note that uh, in the 1960s, 70s, and 80s, the terms were indeed two years. Uh, we only started with three-year terms in the, in the late 80s and four-year terms only eight short years ago. So there's nothing unusual in a two-year term. Uh, yes, it will cost somewhere between five and seven million dollars. However, that, that is democracy. And given, given a rapidly changing global environment for cities, and given the need for someone to be able to say, I have the mandate of the city of Toronto and its residents when I make this statement about public transit, housing, casinos, um, recreation, that means something. And we should not have that, that, that gravitas absent from public conversation for a two-year period. In a by-election, especially everything that's, that's happened over the last week, uh, if the mayor ran again for his old job, hypothetically, what do you think would happen? Uh, well, that, that I don't know. That would be up to the electorate to figure out. Um, I could see a multi-person race. I think the more people that are in the race, the better it will be for, for the mayor. But uh, that's, it's way too early to, to speculate the twists and turns in the chess game of, uh, of the election itself. The, the issue for today, though, is that if there is an election, uh, if, there is, if he is removed from office by virtue of his conflict of interest uh, decision uh, that the judges will make uh, probably sometime in January, should there be an election or should there be an appointment? And I think the I think the weight of evidence is on having an election. Councillor Mahavik, I know that uh, our, my colleagues have already asked this question, but we're just jumping in here live right now. Can you uh, give us your initial reaction to Mayor Ford being allowed to run uh, in a by-election year if City Council so chooses to move in that direction? Well, from my perspective, I think it is good news for Torontonians to be able to weigh in politically, electorally, on the question of whether Rob Ford should be re-elected uh, as mayor of the City of Toronto. Having Toronto weigh in on this on this question, and I think they want to. I think they want to either affirm him in office, or they want to disavow uh, him from uh, office and and choose a different path. If the mayor is eligible to run, uh, would not some people advance the argument that he's also eligible to be reappointed? Uh, well, I I cannot see this council, frankly, reappointing a mayor that was just unelect un just turf from office by the judiciary. I don't think that, that would be uh, appropriate. Do you read it uh, as, a, as possible that, that uh, someone from outside council is appointed? Is that, is that possible under the rules? Well, it, it is possible. We would have the uh, liberty as council to choose someone, uh, call a councillor or someone from the outside. That would be, uh, I believe that that, is, uh, that would be our right. However, I do think the pressure will mount over the next month that if the decision from the judiciary, uh, from the divisional court goes a certain way, I think the pressure will be that the best way, given the length of term, le length of time between now and the next municipal election in 2014, that the wisest course of action to give the mayor the gravitas that he or she will need, uh, that an election is the way to establish that. What, uh, what happened last month? I, I don't have any comments on that. Well, it's some pretty emotional. I know it's been a long week. The leaders in our community that we want to hold this city that we love and we're passionate about together. That's the way I would read uh, this outflowing of emotion yesterday. Would you be in favor of one candidate only from the left to oppose uh, Mayor Ford in a by-election? At this point, I'm in favor of an election if the decision from the judiciary comes out early enough in the new year. You mentioned you'd like to think about the names and that would yours be, be at the table? Uh, <laughs> I'm focused on uh, just trying to, at this point, I think most of us on council are just focused on trying to make the right decisions 
trying to follow the ball, trying to reassure our community that their garbage is going to be picked up, the library will be open, that we're still a great